What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe. You will turn and guess, you know, I would do prefer for you to like and share the video. Real quick, I wanted to touch base on this story. I've been kind of following it for a little while, but I, again, you have to wait till everything is out before you can speak on certain things. And so, allegedly, it seems like a third arrest has been made in the Savannah Soto's case. Soto case. Now, this was the young lady who was pregnant. And her her boyfriend was found unalive in the car, I believe in Texas. And you know, there's a lot coming out about it. It seems that you know they were allegedly D dealers, allegedly, and um, you know they just had a bad incident. And the young man, you know, actually used his mom's weapon allegedly in order to unalive the both of them. Seems like the mother and the father are in custody for helping. You know, I guess, move the body or whatever the case may be. Anyway, I just wanted to highlight you guys this little bit of information again. You know, it's still an opening investigation, I guess, until they figure out the rest of what's going on. You know, but a mother and a father to help their child to hide up some, hide something like this, especially someone that knows what it's like to carry a baby to actually, you know, if they could have got her to the hospital, maybe they could have saved the baby, you know, who knows? Maybe they could have, it's just a mess. I just don't get how a mom and a dad will help do something like this to someone else's children. And, um, you're going to still pray for the young lady and the young man's family. And this family, this young man, he looks kind of troubled. You know, he just don't seem to be all there, you know, and I do believe that probably he will gonna he is gonna use a um a mentally ill educational purposes, you know, in, in order to get leniency or whatever the case. However, they are stating that the weapon did belong to the mom. You know, they got a warrant, they went in, they searched the home, you know, her room was locked. It's like, why is your room locked? It's like, you know, she said, Well, she's the only one had the key or whatever the case. You know, the moral of this story is this. These cases happen. Parents say they didn't know their kids had issues. Or, you know, she said she's the only one have the key to the room. And so how did her son get the weapon? You know, it's just a lot that just don't make any sense to me. Um, They don't even know where the incident happened yet, allegedly. Again, it's a lot that's still unfolding with this particular story. I'm going to try to, you know, stay locked in just to kind of, you know, help educate and help our teens to understand how important it is to just not get involved in the wrong things and the wrong relationships. And, wow, it's a lot being said. It's a lot being said about, you know, um, Savannah and her boyfriend's relationship. And, you know, there's a lot going on with that. It's just sad that, you know, sometimes you have to think, you know, what if I would have said something or what if I, I, I could have helped her to just even get away from the relationship where she still had been in that situation, allegedly. And um, it's just a hard feeling moment to just even know that someone could unalive someone with a baby still in their stomach, allegedly, like. What would make someone think that's okay to do that? And the parents, they, they should be ashamed of themselves. I feel like the parents, too, should be held fully responsible for even trying to help cover up such, such a situation. I think that they should be prosecuted to the fullest extent as well because as parents, to take someone else or, or to help cover up a situation involving someone else's children when you yourself is a parent, it's just mean and evil to me, you know, and I just feel like, yes, they should all be held accountable. No one should be granted leniency. And the young man, you know, I feel like he, whatever the whatever the charge is, he should not be let out into society because if he wasn't, you know, confused, he definitely is now. You know, look at him, you can tell, like, something is just not right. And I just feel that, you know, he doesn't look well. He looks like, yeah, you know, and if he didn't look like this before, he definitely is confused now, you know, but as I stated, I feel like the mother and the father should be held accountable as well. Mm -mm.
completely because I mean, I know you protect your children, but to what extent do you help your children to cover up something like this? And then next thing you scared to go to sleep because you don't know what they may do. Mm-mm. No, 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 and no. Wow. That's a shame. So allegedly, she was due to get induced to have her baby like any second, any day, and she never made it to the hospital. That's a shame. Yeah, she never made it to the hospital to have her baby. Allegedly, you know, her, her boyfriend or whatever the case must have took a ride or whatever the case and was supposed to go straight to the hospital, allegedly, and they just never made it. Like, how do people think these th- these type of things is okay? How do anyone think it's okay to just unalive people like this? I believe this is out of Texas, another Texas story. <laughs> this is like... You, 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 uh, I don't know, guys. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to bring some of everything to this platform. And, you know, we can't overlook the things that are happening in our everyday life. Like, these things are really happening. Like, and just to realize that people but in an area with cameras all over and nobody saw nothing. Like, give me a break. Nobody saw nothing out of normal. How is that even possible? But it is what it is. You know, we live in this world where people say, you know, I'm going to mind my business. I don't see nothing. But how do you not see or hear anything or even see a vehicle parked strangely? Or I don't know. It, it, it's just weird, y'all. It is. And um, again, all you could do is keep people in prayer and, and, and pray that out. Our youth and we just be careful and no matter how they feel about, you know, us being in a business and they grown and all these kind of things, you still have to kind of know what your children are doing. Because at the end of the day, no matter how the, how old they are, they still are children. We may not be able to control everything, you know, that they do or say or things like that, but we could kind of like have some kind of ear to where, you know, God forbid, we know who, what, where, maybe why, you know, this is, it's it's sad, so we have three people, the baby, the mother, and the father, and then we have three in custody, the father, the mother, and the son, like, so three for three, like, this is wild to me, you know, um, I don't really like to cover a lot of dark stories, but I do feel like a newborn baby, for the most part, deserve to be heard and this was wrong and no neither one of them should be allowed any kind of nothing after unaliving that baby like that let me know what you guys think make sure you like share and subscribe be blessed peace